now. It's fresh this morning, but it is nice and bright and the sun's out. We've got about uh, a three and a half hour cruise taking our time to Middlewich. Uh, we're going to head off soon, but we've got a load of washing on. Same script, isn't it? Same every blimmin' morning. We're going to the services up here, fill up with water when we finish the wash. And then off to Middlewich. I can feel a chippy tea coming on from Kingslock Chippy tonight. That'll be nice. But, well, I better get the tiller on and then we'll get going. Well, we're on our way, about 500 yards to the services. I'm just going over the aqueduct here with uh, the river Wheelock going underneath. Hence the town name, Wheelock. Andy's up. We have spoke to Andy this morning. There's Narrowboat Wolf Moon. He's going to be following us up shortly. Nice little cruise today to Middlewich. Well, we hope it's nice, don't we, darling? Mm, maybe do. I can hear a doggy barking. Once again, another services, but Wheelock services, lovely old buildings here. Yeah, all of this is the old Wheelock Wharf. Isn't it lovely? There's a bit. That's the rubbish tub. Services done. Andy's behind us. He's just uh, leaving the services, so we'll cruise together to the first lock of four. I believe it is. I think it's four. We'll find out, won't we? Notice the water's down. I would say, what do you reckon, love? Six inches? Oh, yeah, at least. Something like that. Yeah. It is down quite a bit. So if you don't keep to the middle, you can feel it on the prop. It's hard to explain, but you can feel it on the prop. You can feel it the way the boat handles. It's totally different. So, uh, yeah, we're just trying to keep to the middle today.
and we will see a lot of these like metal pilings here and concrete banks due to the mining subsidence in the area. Some of them can be up to 25 foot deep to help support the canal banks. But they do make for very uncomfortable moorings, unfortunately. A lot of the fields and grounds have also subsided in the area due to the local salt marshes. You'll see them a lot more as we get nearer to Middlewich. There's a nice little MGF. I do miss mine. I loved mine. Uh, when I lived in a caravan, I had one of them. It was gunmetal grey. They're mid-engine, and believe it or not, they do go like stink. <laughs> I used to love razzing to work in that. It was a lovely car, convertible, and I had the R-top uh, conversion to it as well. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to look back before editing. The clips of me may have been blurred. I think I had something on the lens. So I do apologise for that, but I'm hoping now it's clean. I'm just not with it at the moment. You can see good evidence of these pilings now. They're everywhere. As I say, I think it's 25 or 28 foot deep, but they're certainly quite substantial to support the sides of the canal and say breaching, which is always a good idea. But they don't make very good mooring, I'm afraid. And I do have to apologise as well. We haven't been doing a lot of talking on the last couple of vlogs. Basically, we haven't had voices. We've been poorly, haven't we? We've been poorly. Nikki's been quite pleased when I've lost my voice. I was a moaning old far, to be quite honest with you, wasn't I? Yeah. I didn't mean to be, but I did do a bit of moaning. I was poorly about it. Holy man sick. Thank you very much, mate. I'll send you a body of video. You will. It'll be. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> that won't be much. Always nice to see a viewer of the channel there. He's got his own little mooring, and very nice it was too. Well done, mate. Yeah, what a lovely little mooring too. Can you imagine in the summer months just sitting out there having a nice barbecue? Well, I don't know if you. Cooking lamb, it might not be a good idea. What do you reckon? <laughs> We're both looking ahead. It's not forecast to rain today. But I don't think it's looking too clever. There's a little boat down there. That's a cute one, isn't it? Obviously... We couldn't live on a little boat like that, but I do see the beauty of them. I think they're lovely. Look at that lovely little stern on that and everything. Isn't that beautiful? It's cute, isn't it? Well, I like that one. Just under this bridge now, the first of three Booth Lane locks. I think they're Booth Lane locks. Yeah, I think that's what they were called. I think that's what they were called, but uh, here we go. All the leaves come into the gate there, like little copper coins. They're beautiful this time of year. Yeah, just set in the lock. Lock's nearly set. I've been told to go and get the vehicle. So I'm going to go and get the vehicle. I'm doing as I'm told.
I can see Andy's turned up. He's there at the lock. Um, yeah, that gentleman we passed back there, uh, he was commenting, he watches the vlogs, and he was saying how well produced they are. Thank you very much, mate. It's comments like that that make it worthwhile. Um, it's not just the editing that takes the time. It's filming all our lives as well, and it does take a lot of time. And it can be very hard work, especially when you're not feeling too well. I mean, YouTube is our income. Uh, I don't claim any benefits whatsoever off the government. I do have a small pension. So, in a way, we do rely on people watching the vlogs. So, it's nice to hear of them. And uh, nice to know that they're appreciated as well. And to anyone that does support us in any which way by watching the vlogs or Patreon or PayPal or buy me a coffee or whatever, I'm just going to let you know that we do appreciate it and we don't mention it as much. Um, but thanks for your support. It really does mean a lot. Thank you. you see Andy up there helping Nicky with the lock. We'll moor up and then help him through this one as well. So the lock's all set for Andy. He's bringing Wolf Moon in. And then we'll see him through the lock completely, close the gates behind him, and then meet him at the next lock, sort of leapfrogging each other and helping each other. Because that's what it's about. up there Andy there on the starboard side is Moston Mill lovely building that is not sure about the pointing though on that I suppose it'll weather. Lovely building. Obviously a former mill. Lovely. And the by wash there would have been a water wheel to grind the corn. We're on our way. We are at the next lock, Andy's just taking his boat in. I've been hovering here. I'll go and tie up now and uh, see Andy through the next of the locks. And what a lovely boat Wolf Moon is as well. Loving those tractor seats on the back. He is just loving it. Little bar lambs. Oh, do you know how to do it? Do you know what you're doing? It's been a while. <laughs> Stop. You got to go right to the top. Oh, now
Nikki's just closing the lock and she's gonna walk to the next one. I can see Andy up there already. No rush for us today. It's quite gentle, really. Uh, Nikki did 14 locks yesterday, so it's a lot easier today. She is a trooper, though. I'm just telling everyone what a trooper you are. You are. One more left. I think, isn't it? I think it's one more. We said there was four, we've done three, so I think. Yeah, but we can't count. Oh yeah, that's true. I think there's, I think, one. I think there's one more, just before we moor up. Ah, we're snotty, aren't we? Yeah. We're not snooty, we're just snotty. I... These autumn colours again, beautiful. My voice is starting to go again, but I'm feeling better. But my voice is going. Hooray! No, we've got a very nasty bridge coming up. We've got a new bridge where this annoying road from this side goes over the canal and goes to the other side. And there's a, and one of the old original bridges attached to it. And it's a bit of an awkward thing on a bit of a right hand bend. So, got to take our time and, and watch the chimney. Pretty sure these are new, these like mobile homes or offices. I think they're probably mobile homes. I'm sure they weren't here last time we came through. To the starboard side is the large salt works here at Middlewich. I'm not sure if it's it used to be Saxa salt, I think, but it may be Tate and Lyle. I'm not sure. We'll research it and put it there. But it's huge, and normally there's uh, salt. British salt. British salt. That's it. Thank you, darling. 
<laughs> My research analyst came through again. Nudges in law you know. Yes, British salt. It's huge. Nicky and I were just saying we don't remember these houses here either getting built last time and it was about 12 months ago, I think, we came through here. All these towns are just expanding. This area here was the old loading wharf for the salt works. Obviously no boats anymore. Lots of trucks. So the last lock just in front of us. It may be the last lock, it depends whether we can moor uh, in the pound before King's Lock. If not, we may have two more locks. We'll see. It's getting very dark, very overcast now. So I'm glad we're going into the last lock of the day. Well, I'm hoping it's the last lock of the day. It depends whether we can find mooring at the bottom there is usually lots of mooring before King's Lock, so uh, I'm hoping we'll be lucky. And just to the port side is the old coaching in the uh, Hinderton Arms, now closed sadly. One of the few with the stables still alongside. Yep, lovely building. So yes, Rump's Lock. What an unfortunate name, why the... Why on earth was it called Rump's Lock? But have a look at this lovely bywash. Just walk you to it. Nobody sees it. But it's beautiful. Look at that. They put thought into it, didn't they? <laughs> lovely little waterfall. So the excess water goes down and bypasses the lock. They put thought into things back then, didn't they? Not now. Hello, well done. We've done. All done, darling. What does that say? I don't know, I can't figure it out. Slippery steps. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> there we go. Got. Somebody's very excited to be coming out. Hello, Boo. Hey, baby. Oh, bless it. Look at him. Hello, Boo. Oh, yes, that's your
Boo! Are we going to get moored up, Boo? Are we going to get moored up? Yeah, we are, Dad. Okay. Whereabouts, Boo? Boo! Where, where are we going to moor? I don't think he's bothered, darling. No, he's not really. No, he's not bothered. We're all moored up in Middlewich. Andy's there in front of the GRPs. No, in between the GRPs, Nicky's on the back. We were here in Middlewich and it's where we wanted to be tonight. But it's possibly one of the worst moorings that we ever stop at. This road doesn't stop. Trust me, it's so loud. But that's we prefer to be here than round the corner. There's, there are other moorings round the corner, but you, you sometimes you feel a bit uncomfortable there. Strange noises in the night. But here, it's traffic, and tomorrow we're moving. I hope you enjoyed that little one. Sorry my voice is going again, but I'm feeling all right. Catch you next time we move, folks. See ya.